Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of EGen Solutions, the podcast series. And I'm so excited to bring to you today a good friend of mine and a transformational life coach, right? Trans- no, don't. Transformational dating and breakup coach, Suzanne Ayat. Ayat. Darn it. I mean, <laughs> just did this like two seconds. It's okay. I am almost okay. so. Don't worry. I get my name gets butchered all the time. I'm used to it. Yes, but this is my problem. I like every episode, and I talk. I'm like we've known each other for how long? And that's all right. There's worse things in life than messing up someone's last name. Last names just in my head. I don't know. <laughs> what it is. Anyway, Suzanne, who by the way, what lived in Orlando, and that's of course how I met her, then made this really bold move to move by herself, just pick up, sell her home, sell things and ship things to Barcelona. And that's where we're speaking with her today. So welcome, Suzanne. Yay. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So you're I'm a little bit scared to be here. Why? 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 Because <laughs> you're full of surprises. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for some surprises. Well, the first surprise is I can't say people's last names ever. So <laughs> that's an easy surprise. I can handle that one. A little bit. I'm a little bit nervous for the other ones, but I can take those in stride too. No, no, no. I, the reason I wanted to have you on here is because, first of all, you did such a, a big challenge like that, which goes right along with your your title of being a transformation coach, right? Yeah, and now absolutely. You, you help people with dating, and I know that you do. Um, you help with online dating profiles, which you and I have a date for. Yes, absolutely. Because <laughs> I'm going to ask for your help. Um, and then also the breakup coach, which I didn't realize that you had dived into since we last spoke about. So can you I actually, I, that's been kind of more my focus lately because I've been attracting those kind of people into my life as well as confidence coaching. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Yeah. Tell, um, tell us a little bit about the breakup coach and, and what that entails. Well, a lot of it, you know, and you know, as human beings that have gone through dating for many, many years, um, most people have been through like a breakup at one point or another and it can be one of the most devastating things that happens in your life because you're losing your best friend you could be losing your social life you know everything all of a sudden like it just changes yep. and it leaves a lot of people just feeling like they're lost and not knowing what the next step is and not only do you not know like what am i going to do with my social life how am i going to move forward but on top of it you're trying to manage all these emotions and it can be overwhelming. And then you get caught in this loop of feeling like I'm never going to feel better, which is so far from the truth. You know, they don't last forever. But what I do is I help people change their mindset. I help them put a plan in place to move forward in a productive way. We work on goal setting, you know, action steps to get there. And so what ends up happening, you know, most of the times when you're going through a breakup, it's the right thing for you, which is very, very hard to realize at the time. But I get people to that point where it can turn into one of the best things that's ever happened to them. And I get them there a lot faster than if they would have to face that on their own. Yeah. So it, it's just a matter of, you know, breaking the time, you know, in half. And it helps to know, like, you don't have to go through it alone. So that's been my focus lately because I know that when I was going through some of my worst moments in life, um, I was lost and I really could have used the guidance. And so I really love seeing people transform from being sad and lost to thriving. I can't tell you how many times people have called me and they're like, I've never been happier in my life. And like, that's, that's what I live for. So, well, so that's what I'm, I'm doing right now. Yeah. So, yeah. I really enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, you've always been good at helping people and Thank you. I've known you. So this is like, like when you said you were going to go into this industry, I'm like, Oh, of course, <laughs> because Thank you, you. lended right in. But one of the things, you know, this field that you're in is, is very competitive, but you have done a very good job. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on the podcast. And one of the ways that we were talking earlier that you have really kind of gotten exposure for yourself and your business is through Cora. Yeah. And yeah. So, so for those of you that are listening, and I'm actually going to go over, share my screen here. Cora is spelled Q U, right? Do I have that right? Q U O R A dot com. And really, it's a platform where professionals can answer and, um,
Sorry, oh, you're I, so, I oh, muted okay. myself on accident. That's what I was like, where'd you go? <laughs> I was moving the bar so people could see my screen. Um, so it's really a place where you can ask questions and answer questions. And yeah. if you're an expert in your field, it becomes a really great way to show your expertise. So tell me about it because you have some amazing, um, you have some amazing experiences. So go ahead. Tell me, tell me why you started and how and all that good stuff. I actually just started using Quora about a month ago. And, you know, the thing about social media is every single, you know, Pinterest, Quora, you know, Instagram, Facebook, they all have their own language. So it's just a matter about, you know, learning how that website works and like learning the language and how to gain followers. And um, so I, I had a friend actually suggest that I try using it because it's a great way to find people that are asking questions about, you know, things that you know about. So I said, you know, what, I'll go for it. And took me, you know, a few days to kind of learn how to navigate it. And then all of a sudden people started finding me. And so you can actually answer questions on there. Um, just general questions, you know, asked to the core community. But then once you start answering those questions, people can start requesting them from you specifically. And so all of a sudden I had all these requests coming in and, you know, on the topic of breakups and dating and relationships and, you know, building confidence. And I started answering those and my views just started going up and I found that it's a really great tool to find people that need, you know, what you can do for them. So that's been super, super awesome for me um, to be able to find people I can help. Yeah. I mean, well, this is where your demographic would be then, especially yeah. I'm, I'm looking at one of your questions. I, I don't know if you uh, asked that question or what, if that was when you answered it says, what is the best thing I can give to my boyfriend? What should you honestly move in with your partner while dating them? Should you at all? All that stuff. But mm -hmm. what I love even more is that we just talked about being a breakup coach and on here, it indicates that you know about breaking up. That's the yeah. first topic. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So even in just how many weeks did you say? Three weeks? I think I'm going on about a month or so now. Okay. Yeah. You, yeah. you have become basically an expert in breaking up on this site. And so now yes. people are going to be looking at you for that, which is what you want. That's awesome. Exactly. And it just goes to show how many people struggle with breakups. You know, it's such a normal thing. It's, you know, I think when we're going through them, we feel like we're alone in our feelings and it's so normal to, you know, get through a relationship and just feel defeated. So anyone right. that's going through a breakup right now, you can see you are not alone. Like they are tough. Yeah. But they can be overcome for sure. I don't think it, when you think about it, is there anyone in this world that hasn't gone through a breakup in some fashion? <laughs> Not very many. I don't think unless maybe you're a kindergartner, you know, <laughs> well, this is true. Or of course, if you're, um, you know, celibate for religious reasons or something, maybe yeah, that's a good one too. But um, for the most part, I think everyone's probably experienced it in some form. Absolutely. So I, I screamed when you, we were talking earlier and so I will try not to scream because now I know the answer, but how many questions have you answered in the last month? Oh God, like more than I can count. I think I'm at like 400 something at this point, yeah, this you know, 400. I'm like, Oh my God. So, but 23,000 views to your, your profile. Um, and then so if I'm, I don't think I'm stumping you because I think you've already answered this. I'm trying to be cautious because I know you're nervous. Um, you said the traffic to your site is from mostly Quora now, your website? Um, I would say um, I'm still getting used to, you know, since I'm new to all of this website yeah. stuff and I'm not the analytics. Like super, right. super technology savvy. I think that I would guess about 50% of my traffic to my website is from Quora. Okay. I definitely get a lot from um, Facebook and Instagram, but I would say half of, because it shows like the referral channel, right. but it doesn't show Quora specifically. Um, it shows, I forget what it says, um, but I think that 50% of it or so is from Quora at this point. So you, um, but that's the, another thing that you, I know that you do things on Facebook and I know you're active on Instagram too. So all those things are driving traffic to your site. But what I saw yes. when, um, and I'm going to go back over here because I thought that was pretty cool. You, even in your, your, your information here, you have your free guides that people can download. And I'm yes. assuming those go to your site, your website. Um, they actually, oh, this goes to um, MailChimp. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then your website is right there, which when we go, cause I want to see your beautiful face. Thank you. <laughs> 
it um and you have a pop-up but since i've already been here it's not going to pop up while we're on yeah the live thing here but you have it very simply and well done and it's just it's simple and it's that's what all that's needed and so you've done a really great job thank you it's like nice to hear because it, it was not easy i want to let anyone know that has to build their own website like it's a process and be patient with yourself because mine took me way longer than it should have but you know the, the thing about going through all this stuff that you're completely clueless about is once you kind of figure it out it's like woohoo, you know it's like one more thing under your belt that you've learned it's you got to celebrate you got to celebrate your small victories because it's not easy yeah so, well, I think that's nice to hear, you know, when you're going through all this and you feel like you're just clueless, like, you know, you and I have talked about it. Like, it's hard. It is hard. So, yeah. you know, anyone going through this, like, it gets better. It gets easier. Well, when you start from zero, which is no yeah. website, just I have an idea in my head of a business that I want to have. Yeah. And then you have to put everything together, not just, you know, yes. well, what am I going to do in that business? Now I got to try and translate it into a website. And then I got to try and translate that into marketing and social media. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. And the website. When I have no marketing background whatsoever, like nothing. So, you know, that's when you have to be resourceful. And I use social media to learn. You know, people are learning from me, but I'm also using it to learn from marketing people. And it's, it's an amazing tool. Like if you really take advantage of it, social media is incredible. So I had um, Patrick Stinnett, my brother, on another podcast with his photography business. And I didn't even actually realize this, but he always loved photography. And now he's just taken it to another level where he's a wedding photographer for 10 years now. Wow. Awesome. And, but he learned a lot of his techniques from YouTube. And so yes. social media that yes. helped him and then Facebook is what helped him become bigger in his wedding photography business. Yes. YouTube is amazing for learning. Right. I can't tell you how many YouTube videos I watched on, on, you know, like, like the website stuff and how I'm like doing add-ons. And, you know, once I figured out that trick, that was a game changer for me because I would get stuck and then they would stare at it. And then I'm like, what am I going to do? I don't know what I'm doing. And then I would get overwhelmed. And then once I was like, Suzanne, Google it, it would take me to YouTube and they break it down into videos. And I know you do your own videos. I do. I do a lot of how-to videos courses. for that specific yeah. reason. Um, trying to give back because I was like you when I first started, I had no idea I had to do a website and there was no money coming in, wasn't yeah. able to spend it, wasn't in the budget. I literally didn't know what a WordPress plugin was. And so I Googled what is a WordPress plugin. It took I didn't either. 15 <laughs> hours to like do one page. Yes. <laughs> it's like yes. So awful. Yes. But um, you know what? It's, it's the thing is like, it's an investment. It's a time investment in your education. Yeah. So I think it's so important to remember that, you know, you might have to go through all that frustration to get there, but once you're there, you know it, like you don't have to learn it again and it becomes easier to find the answers, you know, as you go on, it's like, okay, you know what? I found an answer here and this is a good resource. And so, you know, it takes a lot, a lot of time in the beginning, yeah. but as you move forward, it gets to be a little less, a little less and a little less. Well, and here's the other thing too, and I, I, I can tell a difference between someone who just says, here's money and fix it. Whereas for me, now when I hire people, I ask very good questions because I understand the background. I understand what's needed. I understand the terminology. And yes. so it makes me a better business person because now I, I understand the talk and I, you know, I may not understand all the details. I don't want to know the details. That's why I'm hiring someone. But exactly. I can have an intelligent conversation with someone about what are you going to fix? What are you going to do for me? I think it's really important for business owners. Really, well, really especially important. I think there's so many people out there that are trying to do this online marketing stuff now. Yeah. And, you know, there are Pinterest experts. There are Instagram experts. Like there's experts in every field. But, you know, I've had people that on Instagram, send me messages about how to grow my Instagram and my Instagram's bigger than theirs. And it's like, it's, it's hard for me to trust you. You know, yeah, I'm not going to put my Instagram in your hands if you haven't mastered your own. So it is helpful to know these things for yourself, you know, so that when it is time, I'm not there yet. I'm still kind of doing everything on my own, but when it's time, like you said, I will know the right questions to ask. It's so important. Right. You're going to know if someone is pulling your leg and not yes. necessarily that they're doing it on purpose. They may be very new and they're trying to start their, in their business. Of course. Of course. And, and so, you know, yeah. 
you have to start somewhere. And I think that's been one of the things that I've had to remind myself. You know, you look at people ahead of you that are successful and they're maybe five years into their business and you start comparing yourself and you're like, oh my God, I'm never going to get there. But you do. You have to remember that they've been putting in that time for the five years. So they've already done, you know, those 20 steps ahead of you. And maybe you're only on step three. And I think it's so important to recognize that, you know, you're going to get there, but you have to give yourself the time. So you can't be comparing yourself to people that are into their, you know, third year or even, you know, if they're a year ahead of you, because you're going to get to where they are at. And if you're smart, you're going to ask them the questions and you're going to learn from them. Well, and to, you know, a lot of people like to plan. <laughs> In my case, I did not have the luxury of planning. So, you know, they could have been gathering research and, you know, sure. knowing people who have gone through it helps. So if you have that as a resource, but um, yeah, I mean, so going back to social media, again, you started, I mean, you really dove right into that, but um, is it even just starting simple. So I want to give you a really good example because um, obviously I'm doing these podcasts and it can become very frustrating when you do all this work, you get the interview, you're, you're spending time and you, you upload and you make everything look pretty and then two people watch it. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, it, it's very easy to get um, discouraged, but Joe Rogan, who is one of the top podcasts out there, he said in an interview one time that it, uh, when he first started he only had 200 people come in and that doesn't, that sounds like a lot. Like I would love to have 200. Like, That's great. But Whoa. this is a celebrity. He's a celebrity. I mean, he's, he's a sports yeah. master. He's a comedian. He's on fear factor. Right. You know what I'm saying? He only got 200 people. So, yeah. <laughs> but it took him. He's, I think he said about two years. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's, he said two years is what, and then it started to, that's two years of everything going, oh, wow, four people watch. Thanks. Yeah. But yeah, I still it can think be four people. <laughs> no, it can, it can definitely be discouraging. Um, but, but the thing is, you know, I remember about 10 years ago when I started doing mortgages in a past life, um, you know, it was a sales position. And I remember, and I have never forgotten this because it was one of those things that was like, well, duh. But what they used to tell us was it's like pushing on a boulder and you push on that boulder and you push on that boulder and it's like, it's not nudging and you just push and push and push and push. And it's like, this isn't moving. And then finally it just gives just that tiny little bit, you know, just that little nudge and it's like, <gasps> and nudged a little, and then it nudges a little more and you kind of shake it up from the ground. And then all of a sudden you push on that boulder and one day it's, you know, rolling so fast that you're running after it and you couldn't stop it if you wanted to. So you know, every time I start to think like, oh my God, I'm pushing on this boulder. It's like, you know what? Just keep pushing. You got, like persistence and consistency is going to get you where you need to go. Yep. And when you're feeling in those moments where that boulder isn't moving, just keep pushing, keep pushing. So, so those are the little changes that you talk about, right? Yep. Small changes lead to big changes. Yeah. Absolutely. And it does a hundred percent. And the thing is to keep going. Um, you know, even, even though when you start like this, I'm getting everybody's last name wrong. I hope that at some <laughs> point I can say people's last name within the 30 seconds before. The show. <laughs> but you know, maybe that's what you're known for someday. The girl that can't remember last names and that's okay. Whatever, you know, whatever. I don't know what it is, but anyway, so, um, yeah, I think just pushing forward and doing that and even your social media. And one of the things that I know you have said it and other people come to me too and they say, well, you know so much. I mean, you know, I don't want to say, well, you know, in front of you. And I'm, I learn every day. I mean, I do this, you know, at least 40 hours a, a, yeah. a week, at yeah. least, if not more. And I'm always learning. Always, always, always. I know. That's why I always come to you for help. <laughs> I'm like, I need, I need help. What do I do? And you help me so much. I'm always picking your brain. No, but I love that. I mean, that's why I'm here. And like I said, that's why I have those videos up. So if anyone's listening, go to my YouTube channel. I have lots of little bite-sized snack how-tos that you may not have thought of. So um, take advantage of it. It's free and it's out there. But how right now I know um, you're doing, and I want to hear your response. So I know uh -oh. you're, this might be one of those questions. <laughs> <laughs> one of those questions. Uh -oh. No, I know you um, want to do video and I know you're finding it very difficult, right? Or how do you feel? Oh, video is not my thing at all. Not at <laughs> all. But you know what? Step by step. <laughs> Step oh, by step, nice. like I mean, this is good. You're on. Yeah. you're on here, and you seem fine. Am I a movie star now? 
Oh no. <laughs> then you went away, your picture went away. <laughs> Sorry, no. That was like perfect um, timing. My, my battery is Damn. my battery is going fast. Um, so I'm sorry, my little thing just popped up on my screen. If my phone dies on you, I'm super sorry. My battery is done with the podcast. Okay. But um, yeah, but um, no, it's video is definitely not one of the things I'm good at. But you know, there are many other things that I wasn't good at, and and the only way to get better is practice. So I'm working on it. I sit in front of my camera and I try, and sometimes it takes me 50 times to get like one video that's decent. But luckily, I have Joe, who's a good video editor. You if I need him, <laughs> you know, so that's helpful. But yeah. it's just practicing. You know, it, it gets easier. It will yeah. get easier even if I'm not there just yet. So basically what you're, I'm hearing you say is push through the fear and then it just becomes a little easier. Yeah. And then pushing through fear in itself is not always easy, but, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes, Yeah, you know, you just got to keep going. And you know, the thing is me being in my living room with my video camera, being scared is ridiculous because there's nothing here. (laughs) I'm here by myself, you know, like, there's nothing happening. So sometimes it's just a matter of being like, hey, you're being ridiculous. Check yourself and keep trying, you know? Some of that self-talk to reframe helps too. Yeah. So I know that your um, your battery is going, but, and I didn't ask you this, but do you have any specials or anything that you want to offer anyone listening who may be going um, to up? You know, I didn't even think about that. I do have those free guides. If anyone's interested, they can be found on Quora. Um, I also have a breakup course coming soon that I am working on the videos for now. So um, if anyone is struggling from a breakup, um, definitely, you know, keep your eyes open because that's coming and it's, it's loaded with content. There's so much information on there and it's not even, you know, just to get you through the breakup. It's to set you up to be successful moving forward in future relationships and just, life in general, it's going to be a really an amazing course. Um, and then I also do my one-on-one coaching. So anyone that is listening to this call, um, would have a coaching session. Like the first one would only be $99, which is a huge savings. Yeah. So how, long, how, much do, how much time do I have with you for 99? Um, I'll do it for the, the till the end of the month. Oh, I meant how, is it an hour for a one-on-one? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Yeah. It's an hour coaching session. And I also offer a complimentary consultation call. So if someone's like nervous about, you know, committing to a coaching program, call me. We'll see if we're a good fit, you know, just kind of talk it out, see if I can be of help and if we're a great fit. Awesome. We can move forward. And if not, that's okay too. That sounds good. Can you go ahead and spell and say and spell your website? It, say and spell it's fractalwellness.com. It's F R A C T A L wellness, W E L L N E S S dot com. Perfect. Those are for the people uh, listening in <laughs> who can't see our screens. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. your time. And thanks for sharing your thoughts on Quora. That's really insightful. And I'm going to head over there again because my numbers are low there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Thank Thank you so much. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you for everyone else who's watching. Come over to our YouTube channel if you want to watch and see the screen shares that we do and just search for eGen Solutions. And we're here. See you next time.